It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the inverted glow effect in Alterface. I hope you guys like the preview, I honestly don't even know what to name this effect but uh, yeah, the most important thing is that the effect looks good and you guys can learn some new cool looking effect basically. And also if you guys didn't know we recently released a grunge presets pack and it has over 30 presets that you can use for your music videos that I think looks absolutely amazing and if you guys want to check this pack out I'm going to be giving you guys a discount code it's going to be Pelle if you use that code you will save five dollars off that pack but let's start with the tutorial now so I'm um, in After Effects here I have added some footage I'm going to be uh, showcasing the effect on and I'm going to start off by as usual now <laughs> make a adjustment layer and you're going to do that by pressing ctrl alt y and the first effect we're going to be starting off by adding is of course going to be the invert effect so add invert here and i'm going to change the channel from rgb to lightness and it's going to look something like this here after that we're going to be adding curves and here it's almost just about playing around a little bit because our clips has completely different lightness and and it's going to look completely different depending on what clip you have but you will have to just adjust a little bit and uh, yeah see what works best for you but i'm going to show you guys how my graph is going to look and uh, you guys can copy it to you if you guys want and if it works for your clip basically so i'm going to make a marker here drag this one down to something like that then you can go up to channel and change to a individual color basically so I'm going to go to red first drag it down something like this go to green drag it down as well something like that and now we're going to drag this up to something like that this is how my uh, graph looks here and this is the result I will get on my clip here. I think it looks very good. After that I'm going to be adding noise. And here I'm going to be increasing the noise to around 90% here. It's going to look something like this. And if you guys like this noisy, grungy kind of aesthetic here, we have a grunge preset pack as I told you guys before about. And I'm going to just show you guys one of the effects from that pack. So I'm going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y and here i'm going to be adding the grunge effect 26 and this is how the effect is going to look i think it looks very very good and if you guys also think so you guys can check this pack out and i have a discount code for you guys it's going to be pelle if you use that code you will save five dollars this pack looks so good and works very well for music videos and edits here i'm back to the inverted glow now after the noise effect here, we're going to be adding radial blur. Set the amount to 2, just so we get a tiny blur here. Then add a deep low. Set the radius to 750 and the exposure to 0.7 around there. You guys can adjust. And this is how the effect is going to look in the end. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to save this as a preset, you guys can just press Ctrl A on the effects here. So all of the effects are marked. Go to animation save animation preset name it save and you're done pretty satisfied with this effect here and works super well for music videos and edits and projects like that and if you guys also think so don't forget to like subscribe and share the tutorial don't forget to check out our website with amazing editing packs just like the one i showed you guys before and don't forget to check out our socials, especially our Instagram. I'm trying to post there as often as possible now. And check out our Discord server and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.